everybody all right like you can see what we are going to learn is fill blanks let me first show you the problem statement what exactly our problem is so we're gonna have this kind of table right uh, so from the name itself you can see that this is a practice table which i've been created to practice how to fill the blanks now let's focus on the city column i know product product line is also having the blanks but for now let's just focus on the city column so what you see over here is this is the city name right so wherever a new city started this data has the city name of that right but for rest of the rows it does not have it has the blanks so what i want is i want to repeat this city name in all the blank columns till the time next city is appearing right so for this city it started from here and till here it is the same city same goes for this so how do i fix this so apparently to fix this we need to go in transform data okay so i'll just jump to the transform data over here and as soon as i'm over here you are go you need to select that column where you want to fix this then go in transform this by the way this is power query window right we are in power query now and go and transform and over here in any column group you would see fill and from here you just need to choose down bang on that is it you are done with filling the blanks so you see this is how you can fill the blanks so starting from here till this point it has the same city then again from here it has changed and starting from here till here it got the same city then again same goes for this one right so this is how you can manage to fill the blanks now let's think on this one so here the condition is opposite right so over here we have this pro particular product line and the entries below this are not for this product line rather it is opposite entries above this are for this product line so here we did fill down and over here what we need to do is just select this again go over here and choose fill up so as soon as you do this you see all the product lines are now filled now your data is pretty much suitable to go ahead and do further analysis and make your visuals i just hope that it was clear for you to understand in case if you get in doubt put that into the comment section before i close this video let me take you to the normal view again so because we are in power query view so again i need to do close and apply as soon as i do this it will take me back to my normal view which is actual power bi view table view in power bi okay so let's just see how our data is going to look like yeah you see you got the data filled in right now you just go in this and make your visuals whatever you want to okay so now i think it was clear to you let me know into the comment section if you struggle with any problem or you just let me know where you use this scenario to fix the problem. Thanks once again. We should go.